Good morning, beloved of God. It is a new dawn. Good morning and win today. Good morning and be blessed today. Good morning. It is well with you today in the name of Jesus Christ. I say good morning to your health. Good morning to your family. Good morning to your finances. Good morning to your career. Good morning to your business. Good morning to your marriage. Good morning to everything that is asleep in your life. I say awake. It is dawn. A new dawn. A fresh beginning in the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome you to today's episode of prayer and Bible reading. Today on prayer and Bible reading, we shall be talking about overcoming the vicissitudes of life. When I say vicissitudes, what did I mean? Vicissitudes are uncertainties, changes, variations, ups and downs, twists and turns, and the unpredictable things that happens in life. So when we talk of the vicissitudes of life, we are simply referring to the difficult times that we all go through, such as sickness, pain, job loss, disappointment, failure, setback, stagnation, hatred, rejection, and all other unwelcome episodes. These unwelcome episodes are things that I consider to be things that are unforeseen, unanticipated, unpredicted, not bargained for, unlooked for, unhoped for, out of the blue, without warning or notice, they are all unchangeable events. It must come. It must happen. They just appear in someone's life, just like that. I've heard many people say that they saw it coming, but they did not have the power to stop it. Consequently, the vicissitudes of life strikes us all. No one is excluded, not even one. Ask any biblical character and the heroes of faith, and they will share with you their own experience about the vicissitudes of life. We all have a similar situation, but it only camouflage differently. However, sudden life changes occur, not because we have bargained for it, but because we all live in a complex and a contradictory world. I mean, we are living in a world where no one can tell what we have next. A world where the unexpected happens. So, viewers, what does the Bible say about the vicissitudes of life, the unexpected? Please open your Bibles with me to the book of Mark 13. And I am going to start my reading from verse 32. The book of Mark 13, I am going to start my reading from verse 32. I read, But concerning that day or that hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on guard. Keep awake, for you do not know when the time will come. The Bible says, be on guard. Keep awake, 
for you do not know when the time will come. Yes, no one knows when the time will come. No one knows when the unexpected, the surprises that life brings will come. So what is this Bible passage? It's simply saying, this Bible passage we just read is simply saying that no one knows by the present sign or by the present situation what the future holds for him. This is why we must watch and pray. Pray continually. Prayer without ceasing. Watch and pray. Because no one knows by the present signs or by the present situation what the future holds for him. No one knows. And because of this, I have come to realize that we are often disappointed in the good we have great hope for. We are often disappointed in the good we have great hope for. What we get does not always agree with what we hope to get. We don't always have it the way we expect it. And this happens because of the uncertainties, the changes, the variations, the ups and downs, and the surprises that life brings. This is why our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ says that we should watch and pray because God wants us to always be ready for the changes that may occur in fortune anything can happen at any time no one knows when and how you have to be ready we are to last to watch our God wants us to be always be ready for any changes that may occur in fortune. Even when the changes are sudden, we may not be frightened out of our course. I mean, our purpose and plan. But glory be to God. We have a God who is all-knowing and all-powerful. Nothing takes him by surprise. Nothing catches God by surprise. Absolutely nothing. Not even our weakness, setback, failure, and the wrong choices we have made. God is never surprised. With God, there is no such thing as surprise, luck, or coincidence. Because God knows and sees everything, even before it happens. In other words, no unexpected situation captures God. I want you to listen to me very carefully. Nothing the enemy is strategizing against us now is going to cash God on our way. He knows. He's seen it all in advance. He's ready for it. Whatever Satan is planning in the secret, God is ready for it. He is ready for it. And he is determined. That we are going to conquer and come out of it stronger than we went into it. And it will make all of it work together for our good. According to the book of Romans 8, verse 
verse 28. Please open your Bibles with me to the book of Romans 8. And let's read from verse 28. The book of Romans 8 from verse 28. I read. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Ask Queen Esther and Mordecai, and they will tell you in the book of Esther 7, verse 9 to 10, that no one can set up himself or herself against God and his people that will not fail no one please i want us to open the book of esther chapter 7 but because of time we are going to look at verse 9 and 10 the book of esther 7 from verse 9 to 10 i read then habana one of the units attending the king said a pole reaching to a height of 50 cubits stands by Amman's house. He had set it up for Mordecai, who spoke up to help the king. The king said, Impel him on it. So they impelled Haman on the pole he had set up for Mordecai. Please, because of time, you can read it at your convenient time and see how that story all happened the bible says why Ammon was busy planning to kill mordecai and the jews little did he know that god saw it even before he planned it and he is at work to overturn all his evil plans our God is all knowing and all powerful. Nothing catches him by surprise. God turned around everything for good for Esther, Mordecai, and the Israelites. What a mighty God we serve. I know someone may be asking how can we handle and overcome the vicissitudes of life? The unexpected when it comes. The answer is quite simple, and the answer is you must learn to acknowledge God's presence at all times and in all situations. When I say acknowledging God's presence at all times and in all situations, I'm simply saying that you should leave it for God. Leave those things for God. Don't worry yourself. He's capable of eliminating any unpleasant situations that may occur suddenly. Two, to overcome the vicissitudes of life, you must learn to stay in faith because only faith pleases God. Only faith can move mountain. Only faith can enable you to stand the test of time. Only faith can make you to survive the ups and downs in life and the trouble therein. So I urge you to remain in faith and stay here. Beloved of God, you may be asking or wonder where God is within the story of your life. I mean, both your physical and spiritual life. I am here to encourage you. So please read the book of Esther chapter 7 and take a look at verse 9 and 10 very well. And the book of Esther chapter 8, read it from the beginning to the end. And you will see what happened in the life of Queen Esther, Mordecai and the Israelites. This story will tell you that there is hope for you. If God can rescue and save Esther, Mordecai, and the Israelites, what do you think that God cannot do? He is able, more than able, to do much more than you ever think or imagine for you.
Remember, that same God was with Moses and the Israelites when they were face to face with a life threatening situation. I mean, when they were trapped between the Red Sea and the Egyptian soldiers, God made a way through the Red Sea where there seems to be no way and it then put an end to the enemy of their soul that has been chasing them. What a mighty God we serve. So what situation are you going through? Are you in a relationship? You feel you have been trapped? Are you facing a life-threatening situation or you are confused in life? I want you to read the book of Psalm 139. The book of Psalm 139 reveals how big, powerful, awesome, glorious, wonderful our God is. Indeed, our God is all-knowing and all-powerful. So why worry? Why are you discouraged? Why fret? Don't you know that God is aware of your situations and he has a solution for you? He is a great provider and the defender of the defenses. He has never failed us before and he won't fail us now. So, don't give up on God. Nothing takes him by surprise. He has a great comeback for every setback in your life. Finally, beloved of God, When you come across any unpleasant situations, I mean any unexpected situations, or any surprises that may occur, I want you to always say, if temptation comes, if trial comes, or if there's any sort of change, shall be victorious because God is busy fighting hell for me and he will finish what he started. I came across some Bible verses that I would like to share with you that can encourage you and comfort you when the unexpected comes. These verses help me in times of distress and emotional unrest. These verses keep me focused on God and His promises rather than my problems. I would encourage you to read it. Keep it close to you and meditate on it day and night so that you can be prosperous and successful. I pray they encourage your heart and lift your head today in Jesus' name. And the Bible verses are Isaiah 30, 20-21, Isaiah 41, verse 10, Isaiah 43, verse 2, John 16, 33, Philippians 4, 6-7, Joshua 1, verse 8-9, to Psalm 34, verse 4 to 5. Matthew 6, verse 31 to 34. And the book of Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. But let's quickly read the book of Isaiah 30, from verse 20 to 21. You open with me to the book of Isaiah 30, from verse 20 to 21. I read, Although the Lord gives you the bread of adversity, and the water of affliction, your teachers will be eating no more. With your own eyes, you will see them. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your eyes will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it. And I pray that those who see your setback shall see your great comeback in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
Amen. Amen. So let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we glorify your name because you are God all by yourself. You made heavens and the earth. Nothing catches you by surprise. You are God alone. Today we have heard your word. Give us a hearing heart that we may be the doer of the word in Jesus' name. Father, you are our maker. You formed our hearts. You know our every thought and our every moment. Our lives are in your hands. Father, let your healing hand touch us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your healing hand touch your children today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your anointing hand Touch your children today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your deliverance power fall upon your children today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your blessings rain on your children today in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers, have you been trapped down by the uncertainties and the surprises life brings? Get ready. Today is your day of freedom. Today is your day of deliverance. Today is your day of blessing. I want you to get ready to receive from God, for this is your day. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said in the book of John 16, verse 33, He said, I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Jesus says he has overcome for us. So right now, get ready to receive your freedom. Whatever area of your life that has been trapped down by Satan, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be it your health. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be it your finances, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be it your career, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be it your business, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be it your marriage, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be it your family, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be it your prayer life. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be it your dream. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in Jesus' name. Viewers, I can see you being free from everything that have trapped you down to where you do not belong. Remember when Moses and the Israelites were trapped between the Red Sea and the Egyptian soldier, God make a way for them where there seems to be no way and put an end to the enemy of the soul that have been chasing after them. Today is your day of freedom. I can see you've been free. I can see you've been delivered. I can see you've been blessed. I can see you've been safe. In Jesus' name. Right now, it is time for breakthrough. When I say breakthrough, I mean a divine intervention from God that rescues you from a place of stagnation to a realm of endless possibilities. It's like when the walls of Jericho fell down flat, giving the Israelites on in Dutch access to get to the promised land. This is what I mean by breakthrough. Where nothing can hinder you. Where there's no obstacle and barrier. So get ready to receive your breakthrough. A breakthrough can manifest in various dimensions of your life. Be it in your finances. Where the yokes of poverty is broken. Be 
eat in your health. Where the yoke of sickness, disease, and infirmity are eradicated. Or even in your spiritual life. Where scales fall from your eyes. And you can see God in good light. Right now, I proclaim and I declare that in the place of pain, in the place of sickness and disease, receive breakthrough in your health in Jesus' name. In the place of stagnation, failure and disappointment, receive breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. In the place of nightmare, receive breakthrough in your spiritual life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the place of marital problem, receive breakthrough in your marriage in Jesus' name. I declare breakthrough in your life, in your health, in your finances, in your home, in your career, and in everything you do in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed when you come in and you are blessed when you go out. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. So viewers, I believe that with today's prayer and Bible reading, you have been blessed tremendously. And your life shall never remain the same again. So please don't forget to send us your testimonies and praise reports to the comment section of this video. You can as well email us at ministries 91 at gmail.com or you can send us a text message on the number on our social media accounts thank you for joining us into this program please don't forget to watch and join our next prayer and bible reading on DICM ministries once again thank you for watching good morning and be blessed today good morning it is well with you in jesus name amen god bless you